Awesome. Jumping Jack Flash by the Rolling Stones. It's a really fun song to play on a four string CVG. And this song requires a capo on the fourth fret. Uh, where you put that capo on, make sure you're tuned to an open G. Low string will be a G. Next string will be a D. Next string will be a G. And that high string will be a B. When you put that capo on the fourth fret, uh, that low G's we're going to become a B. Next string is going to become a F sharp. And then the next string is going to be another B. And the high string will be a D sharp. I don't know, for some reason my CBG always buzz is more when I get that capo on but you know I like that low action so um this is really a really easy song mostly just little one finger bar chords uh, for the most part but remember after you put your capo on uh, always retune because when you put that capo on it's it's gonna pull your strings a little up or down out of tune so just make sure you retune it first thing we're gonna do we're gonna like Strike it open. Oh well, first, uh, you know, actually now the fifth fret becomes our first fret. So just think of this little the fourth uh, fret metal fret as your nut, kind of like a zero fret. Um, so fifth fret is now our first fret. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. Um, what we're going to do? We're going to strike the. Uh, lower three strings open one time and then we're just going to start riding it a little bit open like this not that many times but be kind of like this and then we're going to go from this uh, new second fret and uh, I generally just do this on the lower three. I don't hit the uh, higher string on this one. I kind of mute it. Um, and sometimes I just hit the lower two. But we're just gonna press down the uh, low B, the uh, F sharp, and the upper B. Make a little one finger chord like that. We're gonna slide that up to the uh, fifth fret. Like this. Well. <laughs> And then we're going to go back down to the 3rd fret, like this, and to the 2nd fret, one time. So all of that together will be like this. And then we're going to strike it open again two times. And then we're going to slide back up and go right back down. We're going to do that four times. So slowly it'll be like this and on that last we're going to take our uh, index finger and Place that on the third fret on the uh, on the uh, D sharp string, and we're gonna strike it all open like that. See, see, we're now in an open B kind of tuning. So, if you strike all the strings open, it's gonna be a B chord. Just like if we didn't have the capo on and struck all the strings open, it's gonna be a G. And if you put your finger on the third fret down there on the B string. And strike it the same way, it'd just be a nicer sounding G chord. Instead of just an open, it'll sound like this. So, anyway, we're going to strike that once kind of, kind of aggressively. So, slowly like this.
and that's where I think Mix yells watch this or something like that and now we're gonna go into the uh, the uh, verse riff um, so that will be played like this <laughs> So I suggest using your ring finger. We'll place that up here on the, our new fifth fret on the uh, low B string. Like that. And now we're going to hit this uh, F sharp chord open. Like that. And now we're going to go up to this uh, on the F sharp string. We're going to hold it down on the third fret. And we're going to hold it down on the, on the uh, B string both on the third fret. It's like a little two note bar chord. And slowly it'd be like this. On the fifth fret on the uh, low B string. The open F sharp string. And then hit that little two note chord. Slowly like this. three times and then we're going to uh, like in that other little riff we're going to strike the uh, strike it open two times like that so uh, I'll do the last of the uh, intro and then go into that so like this oh well <laughs> That's the verse riff. So again, just slowly. All right, now we're going to go into, uh, <clears throat> I guess, the chorus. That's what this is. All right, now we're going to go on the third fret, and we're going to hold pretty much all four strings down, or you can just hold the uh, lower three. Drag it something like that. And now we're going to go up to the uh, 14th fret. And hold all four of those down on the 14th fret. <clears throat> and right here we're going to take our ring finger on the 16th fret. Place that on the F sharp uh, string. And then we're going to place our middle finger on the... Uh, D sharp string on the 15th fret like this as long as we're still holding all of these down whoops just practice uh, putting these two fingers on there like that and taking them off I'm playing it really bad right now um, but slowly uh, And distract the 14th, I guess, one time, and then just strike it, holding those down, strike it out, like take them off, strike it once. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the uh, fifth fret. Hold all four of those down. All four strings down on the uh, fifth fret. We'll take our middle finger or your pinky, whichever one you want to use. And this is how I do this on a four string CBG. It's kind of hard to get the those higher notes without that high E string on a electric guitar or a, any kind of six string guitar. And um, so this is how I do it. We're going to go down to the uh, fifth fret. 
finger cord, hold them all down. Take your ring finger and place that on the uh, upper B string. On the, uh, this would be our seventh fret now. Yeah, so. Kind of the same way. You can also, but it doesn't sound right. You're supposed to do that on the uh, higher E string, but we don't have that, so I just do it. Now we're going to strike it all open, open B. I generally, uh, okay, I'm going to do that slowly, uh, coming out of the uh, last one of the uh, verse. I strike it open once. Now, I, what I do here is... Um, not exactly how it is in the real song, but it sounds really good on the uh, open CBG instead of just playing the open uh, B. Um, when you hit it open, what I do is I uh, place my uh, index finger on that upper D sharp string on the third fret and just anchor it there. And what I do right here, I don't strike it first. What I do is I uh, take my pinky up to the sixth fret like this and then my ring finger on the uh, fifth fret and then I strike the uh, third fret kind of like this I just anchor it on the third fret yeah so, so slowly and we go right back into that and the second time I did the first time I just and then go to the 14th fret uh, the second time I do that I do that same thing we do up on the 14th fret I do that same thing this time here on the third fret down here I just strike it twice and then here I just that's how I strum that um, and then I go back to the 14th fret and do that same way to the uh, fifth fret and then we go back into that open right there two times and then it goes right back into the uh, verse And that's basically all it does the whole song uh, after the second verse and the second chorus um, it goes back into that intro so kind of like that I'm gonna play through everything slowly since it's really fast quick song but quickly play two of the intro and two of the verse and go into that uh, chorus to show you how all this fits together so here we go <laughs> back 
into the uh, next verse. And they just keep doing that the entire uh, song. But um, after the second uh, ver uh, no, after the second chorus, um, they would. Uh, Right there, they do that two times instead of just once, like before they go into the verse. Um, after the second chorus, they uh, hit it open, and then they, or that's where I put my finger on that note right there, do that two times, so. Um, Then start doing the right there it goes back into four more of that intro riff so I'm actually gonna play that all again what I just played but real slow this time and until I go until we go back into that intro so um, just two times of each though so here we go second chorus just go right back into that um, uh, intro riff and yeah then you go right back into the uh, verse riff I think and then they go back into that intro riff after the third verse or third chorus I'm sorry and that's what they end with they just keep You can actually you don't have to just hit those like that all the time because one of the guitar players and the bass player they just ride that or I'm sorry <laughs> okay at the very end of the song they do that four times but at the end of that they hit the open two times like just like that and then they do two of the uh, verse riff and that's how the song ends so coming out of that intro and that's the entire song uh, it's a really cool song to play, but you will need a capo on the fourth fret. I uh, hope y'all enjoy this one, and thanks for watching.